Hi, I'm Mark Ryan. In this video, I'll be going through a blog just released by Google Cloud about the ability in Vertex AI to run DeepMind's groundbreaking protein structure prediction system, AlphaFold. Now for full disclosure, I am a Google employee, but the opinions in this video are my own and not the official opinion of Google or DeepMind. That being said, this, that is the blog that describes how to put Vertex AI and AlphaFold together and very easily see the benefit of AlphaFold, be able to experiment with it. It really is one of the most exciting things I've seen in the last year. Because now, thanks to the seamless simplicity of Vertex AI, combined with the remarkable prediction capabilities of AlphaFold, anyone can try generating 3D protein structures from amino acid sequences. This really is AlphaFold for everybody. In this video, I'll briefly review the Google Cloud blog that describes the setup and then show how you can use the resulting setup to get protein folding predictions. So in order to take advantage of DeepMind's AlphaFold to make predictions starting with amino acid sequences and getting a prediction of the protein structure in the context of Vertex AI, all you need to do is follow through this blog. And this blog, there's a link to it in the description for this video. This blog takes you right through the whole process. It describes what AlphaFold's about. It gives a structural overview of the whole solution. And then it takes you step by step. And it gets you right from the very beginning, getting started with Google Cloud, getting set up with a project, setting up the tutorial notebook. And it takes you through all those steps, specifying the hardware specification that the, that the notebook requires, and getting the uh, Docker container brought into the notebook. So it takes you through everything. And when you finish this, what you get is a notebook in the context of Vertex AI where you can set a as input an amino acid sequence and get a prediction from a simplified version of AlphaFold of the 3D protein structure for that amino acid sequence. And we'll show how that works in just a minute. Once you've worked through the blog, you'll come back into the console and in the Vertex AI section in Workbench, you'll see that you have a managed notebook created and all you have to do is click on Open Jupyter Lab to bring up the notebook itself. And here's the notebook loaded with everything that's needed. Now there's actually only one area that needs to be one uh, variable that needs to be updated this sequence. So you can specify multiple sequences here. These are sequences of amino acids. So each of the letters in this sequence represents an amino acid. So you can put multiple sequences in. Here there's a single sequence that's already preloaded with the notebook. And with that one setting, you can get a prediction for what the folded protein looks like. The Uniprot website is a great resource, particularly if you're like me, you're not an actual life science specialist. It is a great place, a very, very rich database to get information about proteins. And uh, in particular, so we're looking at this one, uh, one entry here, and there are two things that are interesting in this entry, two things I wanna call out. The first is, here is the 3D structure of this protein. This is actually a prediction done by full-blown alpha fold and a couple things to notice about this one is as you rotate the 3d structure around there's this guide in the lower left hand corner that kind of gives you an idea of where the axes are so for a non-specialist that's kind of helpful some of these structures can get very complex and it's a little bit difficult to see which way is up so that's a handy thing to know there's one other piece of these records that is useful and that is down here the uh, the FASTA record. So down here you can see the sequence of amino acids for this particular protein. And if you click on the FASTA entry, it'll come up with those uh, the amino acid sequence. You can copy and paste it into the notebook in Vertex AI. All you have to do is get rid of the line feeds and you've got something that's ready to go and to feed into the notebook to get a prediction on. So this makes it very, very convenient. And what we're going to do is take this particular 
amino acid sequence and feed it into the notebook. And what we're looking for is, do we get a prediction that looks like this prediction that's in the Uniprot database that's coming from full-blown AlphaFold? So that's the goal of this exercise. So here we are in the notebook in Vertex AI, and all we've done, we've taken the FASTA entry from the Uniprot database. That is this string of amino acids here. We've pasted it as the value of sequence one in the notebook, and we've run every cell in the notebook, just run everything. And what happened is the notebook does a search of a genetic database to come up with some of the raw information that's needed. And then it runs a simplified version of the AlphaFold model. And the result that we get once that's run is a structure here. You can increase the size, reduce the size, and rotate it around. So let's do a bit of a rotation here. and center it a little bit. Okay, maybe make it a little bit smaller. Now, let's compare it to what the structure looked like in the Uniprot database. Go back here, scroll up. So here's the structure in Uniprot. Now for an amateur, it is a little bit tricky even getting these things oriented the same way is a little bit tricky. So there's the structure in Uniprot database that was predicted by full-blown AlphaFold. And here's the structure, the same amino acid sequence predicted by the simplified version of AlphaFold in the Vertex AI notebook. And to an amateur's eye, at least, they look quite similar. Now, one of the things to note here is that AlphaFold will basically, for the confidence AlphaFold has in the prediction, the bluer the better. And there is, if you scroll up in the notebook, it has the legend. Oops, uh, yeah, it's a little bit small over here. The legend that shows uh, red is a less confident prediction for the, the large band areas. Blue is more confident. And there is also a prediction of the aligned error. And basically for this, from a, an amateur point of view, the greener the better. So having green off the diagonal, dark green, is a, a more confident prediction. So what we've seen here is that the simplified version of AlphaFold that's available in the context of Vertex AI produces a prediction that is, from a you know basic eyeballing, is pretty close to what full-blown AlphaFold predicted and what's recorded in the Uniprot database. So we've been through the process of using a notebook in Vertex AI that we've set up using the Google Cloud blog that allows us to put in an amino acid sequence, use a simplified version of AlphaFold, and get a prediction of that amino acid sequence's protein structure. If you want more details, there is a link in the description for this video to this Medium post where I provide some more details and uh, go through the experiment that I went through in this video. So thanks very much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.